Hello, everyone. This chapter is going to cover my favorite thing to talk about in Clip Studio Paint: the vector layer. If you want to do line art or drawing, this feature is going to permanently change your life. <laughs> And we are going to start by simply going to the layer panel, and you see that normally we have the layers on the side that is automatically created for you when you open a new file. You can always create a new raster layer by clicking on this icon. However, for this tutorial, we are going to cover the vector layer, which is the icon on the right. So let's click on that. You will notice the new layer created is going to have a little cube in comparison to the original. So why should we use this? We're going to now change to the pen and start drawing on this. Let's say today we want to draw some hair, and you may be thinking, "Well, that's just lines. How is that different than drawing on a regular raster layer?" You will notice that when you press E. Or go to eraser. Something called the vector eraser will be enabled. This feature is disabled when you have a raster layer selected, and highlighted when the vector layer is selected. There are three different modes in your vector eraser: erase touched areas, erase up to intersection, and erase whole line. The middle one is what we need. Now you simply just go over where the lines overshoot, and it's going to automatically clean up them at intersection. This feature allows me to really quickly clean up all of my lines. I can already hear some of you cheering in the background because this process usually takes a ton of time, but the convenience doesn't even stop there. If you go to the very bottom of your toolbar, you will notice something called Correct Line Tool. Let's click on that. Inside the Sub Tool Palette, you will see several different tools that will show you how to navigate or how to manipulate your vector lines. We're going to select Adjust Line Width. With this feature enabled, you will notice a series of attributes inside the Tool Property Palette. With Thicken selected. You simply brush over the line, and it's going to automatically thicken it by one pixel at a time. If you increase this, let me just drag the bar. If you increase this, you can thicken it by quite a bit at a time. You can also make it narrower. And because this is vector path, you are not going to be losing any quality on your lines. Now, let's say I am not happy with how these width are looking. I'm going to select fixed width. I want them all to be five pixel in width. I'm going to select process whole line, and then just brush over the whole thing, and that's going to unify the line width. Just like that, it's super super quick. Especially in combination with your Wacom One Pen, you can very easily do line art very fast in Clip Studio Paint. If all of that wasn't impressive enough, you can go into Pinch Vector Line and use this feature. I'm going to increase the effect range and also increase the pinch level. I can use this to drag and manipulate my lines. So if I drew a line and I don't like how it looks, I don't have to redraw it 20 more times. I can just push it around very slowly but surely. And if you drag a line over the other, remember you can always go back to your eraser tool and erase intersection. There are so many convenience with using vector lines because you don't lose any quality, and then you can change the textures, change the path at any time. And that's it. I hope that can be helpful to you because the vector line art is just super fun and super flexible inside Clip Studio Paint. And I hope this can help really speed up your workflow as it did for me. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.